Now, have you guys ever been in that situation where your friends want to go out at night? Maybe it's 6 p.m., 7 p.m., 8 p.m., or even 9 p.m. And your friends want to go out, but you have a lot of work to do. You might have a deadline coming up, but at the same time, you don't want to miss the motive that your friends are going on. So you're stuck in a tough situation. And what do you do? Well, I've been in that situation many times in my life. And I realized that it's very easy to get out of that situation and to prevent that situation from actually taking place. Now in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you could set up your day for success and to allow yourself to spend more time studying as well as more time out with your friends without wasting any time. Hi, my name is Mikey and welcome to today's video. I'm a pre-med student here at the University of Waterloo in Canada. And in today's video, just like I said earlier, I'm going to be talking about how to set up your day for success. Now, everything that I'm going to discuss in the video will be in the timestamps down below. So if there's a certain part of the video that you want to skip to, feel free to do that. Your cell phone is probably the biggest distraction that you could have right next to you when you were studying. And I fall into distraction all the time. My cell phone is literally right next to me. I always will get tempted to pick it up, maybe scroll through Instagram, look at a couple Facebook videos here and there, look through a couple YouTube videos, and next thing I know, 30 minutes have gone by. So how do I get past this? What do I do in a situation like this? And I watched a video maybe about one or two years ago that actually said that turning off your phone and literally throwing it under the bed will actually solve this problem. Now, I know what you all might be thinking. Well, I could really just grab over there and pick it up. Just try it and you'll see what I mean. Just the idea of turning on your phone and waiting for that Apple logo to show up, waiting 9, 10, 15 seconds for it to show up, you're not going to have that motivation to do that. And by the time you're waiting to do that, you're going to regret it and you're going to end up getting back to studying. So try this out and you won't regret it and you'll see how much of a difference it actually makes when you are trying to study. Now, simply plan and prioritize everything you're going to do in a day. And the way you can do this is simply with two different ways. The first is just mentally in your head, jotting down everything either the night before or the morning of and making sure kind of that you have a structure of what your day is going to look like. Now, I used to do this originally, but I transitioned into writing everything down on my iPhone or on paper. Now, the way I do this is using my Reminders app as well as using Notion. I also find it super satisfying for me to cross out things on my Reminders app or through my Notion app. It's just super fun like that. I also find that using an app like Notion or using an app like Reminders is super important because it prevents you from having to remember everything. My memory is not great and I don't know if yours is or not, but a lot of times when I'm in the shower or when I'm walking or when I'm driving, I remember that I need to complete something or I need to get something done. And I don't want to rely strictly on my memory to get everything done. So I'll simply just say, hey Siri, remind me on Saturday at 11 p.m. to finish math homework. Whatever the case may be, I could just say it quickly and it'll get it done and I can remove it from my memory. Now you also need to prioritize everything you're going to be doing. Now let's say you have a project or an assessment, something that is due in a week or two weeks, but you also have a final exam coming up in about a month. Don't try to study for your final exam now, get a lot of work done now, and forget about your project and do it the day before or two days before. Now I know this might be common sense or intuitive, but a lot of people actually make the mistake of leaving things to last minute because, you know, it's due so far down the line. You may as well get it done today so that you could focus on other things and get other things done later on. Now the final thing that I want to discuss is simply learn to say no. Now I know that might be very simple, like of course I could just say no whenever. No, 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 no. No, that's not exactly what I mean, no pun intended. What I mean is that when you are studying or when you have a deadline coming up, something in hopes of a long-term goal, whatever the case may be. For example, in my case, I want, I want to get into medical school. I need to learn to say no sometimes because in terms of the long-term goal, me saying no now, me saying no next time, me saying no the time after, those three times saying no might help me achieve something that will give me a better opportunity or a better chance of getting into medicine. For example, in my case, when I was studying for the MCAT this past summer, a lot of times I said no to go out with my friends, and that sucked so bad. But I knew that I was doing it for myself. At the end of the day, you're working on yourself. So whatever you say no to or whatever you say yes to, you need to make sure that you focus on the long-term goal. And I really advocate for that. There's a great quote from Jordan Peterson where he says, compare yourself to who you were yesterday, not to someone else today. And I think this is really important, especially in our day and age. We compare ourselves to so many people around us and that's wrong. We have to compare ourselves to ourselves. Try to be better than who you were yesterday, not who someone else is today. And that kind of reaches the end of our video. If you didn't enjoy the video, subscribe and like down below. I'm going to be posting more content kind of about studying productivity in the future. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Cheers. Take this off, of course. 